everybody, and welcome back to some more Grand Master of the Arena. And if you remember last time, we managed to go 4 and 0 oh, as our Paladin. Or Paladin, Paladin, whichever you prefer. I'm going to say Holy Warrior, as I mentioned before. So we're 4 and 0 oh as the Holy Warrior, which makes us almost to the halfway point. We have zero losses, which is great. So let us dive right in, so we may become the Grand Master once more. Because I've already done it twice, so... The medals are Apprentice, Journeyman, Copper, Silver, Gold, Platinum, Diamond, and Master. Thank you, Blizz! Alright, so we are against a Shaman. Shaman can be scary. They can also be fairly easy. We're going second. Um, I'm okay with this starting hand, honestly. It's not bad. We have a turn one play with the Worgen Infiltrator, and then we can follow up with a turn two Raging Morgan. Do you have a turn one play? Do you? Do you do do do? do? No, you don't. Let us go, Worgen! Uh, Worgen Infiltrator, probably the one of the best, if not the best, the one drop in the game. Might as well ping that out. If he wants to blow a removal on the Infiltrator, I say go for it. Um, I'll tote him again. All right. See, even if we hadn't brung the Worgen out of stealth, he still would have got that. Getting the Wrath of Air, though, was lucky for him. Bam, and then get us a recruit as well. He's sitting at six cards, we have five, we're at a slight disadvantage. Being able to trade out two cards for two, or one card for two there was really lucky of him, so... So we have a couple options here. We could Blessing of Kings and trade out. We could Knight Charge and then... Actually, yeah, that's probably the best one right there. Really don't want to let him keep a Wrath of the Air because it'll... Um, it'll give him that extra oomph to maybe pick us off. Uh, we're sitting at 6-6 six to six cards now, so... Storm and Knight, is he going to charge at our Knight? Yeah. How can we follow this up, though? We could poke it for two and then trade out the shield, which actually isn't that bad of a trade. And we don't lose anything for it, so... What you got, buddy? You gonna trade out the axe? All right, it's not bad. It's not bad play there. An accolade of pain and a young priestess, which will bump that up to four. That is not good. We can Blessing the King, 5-5, five, five, swing in. Then we can also follow up with this, give that a shield and swing in, but that probably isn't the best play. We could Lord of the Arena, which I don't think is the best play. I'm thinking... 5-5. Five, five. Yes, we 5-5. Five, five. Let's give it a Blessing of wind Wisdom so we also get a card draw out of it. He'll get a card, but there's not really a lot we can do about that. 
Still, we did trade out a token for a creature, so I'm okay with that. The thing that's scary is that he still has two swings of the Stormforged Axe, so... Stormforged Axe is really, really, really good. Alright. I'm hoping we poke that shield. I'm really like we really need to poke that shield here is the thing. Not on my watch. Come on. Yes. Exactly what I need it. Exactly. Then we'll summon that for good measure, see if we actually can just poke the Scarlet Crusader. I am sorry. That was just really good luck on our part. Now we can I really don't see a point to taking that out, so... That'll give us a Crocolisk. I didn't expect to get two knives on the Crusader, so... That's why she shielded it. <laughs> Little do he know, he, he none too bright. And he'll probably take out the Knife Juggler, yeah. I mean, the only disadvantage to this is we're blowing equality to do this. But. The gates are open. The battle. Bam. Poor Earth Elemental didn't get to do anything, basically. And now we have we still have two turns of solid removal with the champion. And three creatures to drop. We're in a really good position. That's GG. I fight. Farewell. Bam! And that's how we roll. That's 5 and 0. Oh. Alright, let us go on with the next game. That was actually a fairly quick and efficient game. Finding opponent. And oh, we almost got your my old roommate. I really had a roommate though. Was he my stalker then maybe? I will fight with honor. That's a solid starting hand. I mean, we get wisdom, grizzly, and a crocolis. So. No turn one play, which sucks, but oh well. Are you going to coin into something, I guess, is the question. You might not. No. Alright, we'll play the Crocolisk. Well met, sir. Well uh, knock the eye out of the statue. Drums. There you go, buddy. He's sitting on seven cards, we're sitting on six. He has the coins still, though, so we'll have to watch out for that kind of play. But we do have an equality if he tries something big and scary. We also want a six swamp ooze if he weapons. Drums. Let's light a fire. Clean the rug. Snoring guy in there. Let's make a rainbow. We must cleanse the sun well. Alright, make it a 4 3. 
You would charge, okay. Bam. You had a blue blow two cards though to really do that combo, so I'm not that upset about it. One shot. Bam. Get down. Bam. Light another fire. Sitting on three mana, dropping the Emperor Cobra. We could Yeti, the only problem is he'll trade it out for the Cobra, so... We could Blessing of Wisdom and get one card out of it, that wouldn't necessarily be a bad thing, and then he'll probably trade it out and we trade it out and then drop down the Yeti, maybe? Yeah, let's do that. Suck steel, Lay on hands not necessarily a bad card. I wonder if maybe we should ooze to get the 3 2. Because there's no guarantee I'll actually play a weapon anytime soon. That'll be extra damage we could use. I'm thinking, yeah, let's do it. Screw it. Let's see what he's going to do with the snake. He's smart. He'll trade the snake out there and make me then also trade out the Silverhand Recruit. But... You never know. Oh, big time play here coming in at six. Ooh, nasty, 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 nasty. I hate you. He's gonna do, do, do. Alright. We can knight and clear the board, actually. Someone tells me I don't want to do this, so... Let me think. Okay, yeah. For the king. That still leaves me with lay on hands, though, so... And a yeti. He's got card advantage, though, right now, which is what worries me. Alright, he'll summon up a ghoul. He'll trade the ghoul in for the knight next turn, which will make the knight a... We do have that peacekeeper, though. So... We'll yeti. Summon a recruit. Reporting for two. Swing in for two. Now we have that uh, lay on hands available for next turn, so... <clears throat> we may waste the heal just to get the draw cards because he has a card advantage. Golem's not going to be scary because we can peacekeeper it, so. The only problem with that is now I can swing the knight in. So. Admittedly, it's tempting to just lay on hands it and swing it in, but then we'd have that to deal with, so. Nope, not JPEG. And also play a Cobra and a Recruit. Reporting for duty. For honor. We'll trade that out there. And then we'll just swing into him for four. And we have we still have this available, that's the good thing, so. Truth is my shield. Sunwalker. What's he gonna do?
Bam. Reporting for duty. For justice. We had to take out a swing of our weapon, but oh well. I think it was worth it just so we didn't have to actually just sacrifice another creature. We, I mean, we still have a swing of it, so. And now we can partially use that heal. Oh, that... That mad bomber play, oh, so sad, man. All right, dark scale healer. Then armor up. Let's see, play that. We can pop that. The end of the day, the healer is going to exist. And the best we can hope for is to swing in and then trade it out for something, which I don't really want to do. But we really probably should, is the thing. Yeah, we really probably should. The more I think about it, the more we probably shouldn't let that just sit on the field. And next time I swear I'm gonna lay on hands, damn it. What's he gonna do with this now, I guess, is the question. He is sitting on uh one card above us right now. Another war golem, alright. We really don't have a way to deal with that one, so... I stand corrected. I guess we're not playing Lay on Hands again! Well then. I swear, one day we're gonna play this Lay on Hands, and it's gonna be glorious. Now what he might do is trade that in and have an Execute. Nope. Cult Master. Cult Master. Now he might have an Execute still. He might have an Execute still. His best option though is probably trade that out there and then swing that in. Oh. I hate you so much, sir. Alright. And then BAM. And bam. I hate you so much. Well, I have to trade that out there, so it's not really an option. I mean, I could always trade that out there. What we draw give us an idea of what we need to do. Well played. We can swing that there. Not the worst choice. No, I should. Bam. See what he does. My lone recruit. We have another mercenary available. Consecrate's going to be the big one, depending on what he plays. But even so, it's still going to kill two things. Problem is, he's getting a lot of card draw with the Cult Master, Farseer. All right, Raven, Razor Fen Hunter. That armor up. Oh, I am sorry. That was probably the worst person to swing in with. Oh. Is he actually gonna... gonna do? Alright. Let's swing him for three. Is 
We have Violet. Teacher. Get us a 1-1, one, one, and also deal a fair amount to him. Get us another 1-1. One, one. He can kill the teacher, oh well. I'm curious what he's holding in his hand, though. Alright, that's some Biteful Smith. He'll trade that in there. I'll armor up. We'll take a little bit more damage than I would have liked, but oh well. It is what it is. What do we draw? We got a Blessing of Kings. Ooh, that could be nasty. Ten me. Ready, sir. Yeah, you got to be kidding me. And we'll obviously trade that out there. Now we have a big Blessings of King play. Ooh, that was a lucky pull. Nice. Alright, so he's going to swing out what, I guess, is the question with that 2 damage. He could kill the Venture Co., but he's going to trade out both. He could trade that out there and leave it at 2. He could trade that in there. Which means I wouldn't really have an effective way to trade for that yet. Alright. That gives his weapon plus 4. He could trade that and his weapon for the Venture Co. Or trade a swing, I guess, technically. That's not bad. Alright, and then, yep. Bam. We'll swing at that. Depending on what he, like, right now it's all top decking, so... We're doing really well though, pulling that Lord of the Arena helps, so I'm just curious what he... Oh, nice, Frost Elemental. He can trade out a swing of his weapon and the Arathi for Lord of the Arena, and then he can trade that out for that next turn. What are we going to pull? Knife Juggler, not aw horrible, but... And then he'll trade up the Frost Elemental for that. It'd be weird if he didn't trade up the Frost Elemental for that. Shield block, that'll buy him some time and get him a card. Twilight Drake for a 4-2. Oh no, 4-1. Twilight Drake was the only card he had. Yeah. Bam. Reporting for duty. Ah, uh, getting that sword though really helps, and it gives us a solid turn of removal for what it replays. Being able to trigger knife juggler with these though really helps. Alarmo. Oh, the Alarmo bot. Oh man, that sucks. Mm, bam. That makes us uh five and I believe it is, or four and No, five and Wow, we were four and oh, jeez. I am not good at the thinking today, apparently. Or six and oh. Six and works too. Wow. So thought comprehension fail. Alright, let's do one more. Move on to the seven and oh. We top decked very well there, I think, was what won us that. Like, we got exactly what we needed, really. Oh, we almost got a coffee addict. I, I know what those people are like. I used to be one of those. Alright, we're against Jaina Proudmore. Hmm. We'll keep the true silver, get rid of those two, however. 
an equality and a violet teacher. Not the greatest picks, but you know, roll with it. What you got? Any turn one plays? No. We don't get anything either. Turn three, we can bear. You get a turn two? I would be surprised if you didn't. Alright, a and a Monty Berserker. Only problem with the Amani Berserker is he can poke it with a fireball. So. We'll coin bear. If he wastes two mana to poke it and take out our bear, okay. I'll accept that. It'd be weird if that's not what he does. I mean, unless he just straight up removes the bear, then. I mean, he may just straight up and remove the bear. Oh. Okay, then. We trade out there, though, then. We, we need to kill that. That is definitely a threat that needs to be killed, though. Now you can ping it with a fireball, unfortunately, is the only problem. But, oh well. It is what it is, I guess. Yeah, ping it with a fireball and swing in the... Yeah. The Eric's going there. We can... What can we do? We can knight, we can teach her. The teacher's not going to do much, and... It's not going to die. Well, yeah, it'll die with a fireball. Knight can take out the golem, but then the golem's just going to get its 2-1. And the knight would have to take two swings to kill the crocolisk. Worgen isn't going to really do anything. We could champion and take out that. I guess. Let me... You have to trade out both those for the worgen, or no, one in and a fireball. See what he does. See what he does. See, this is the point where I kind of like the Elder Peacekeeper, but the problem is it's like... Yeah, and then he'll fireball it. That's what I thought he might do. So it puts us at... We get Hunter, Recruit. We get Worgen. We get Teacher, rec teach just Teacher. We get True Silver Champion. I think we... Hunter and recruit. Reporting for duty. A big Twilight Drake comes out. Yeah. Little do he know, he none too bright. So what we can do is teacher equality and then swing in that to that and then take out one of these with the boar hunter. No, we wanna No, we can't teacher equality. We're not gonna get the one one from the teacher though, is the problem. So let me think. Would the champion maybe be better? Regardless, we're equality. And then we're training that out there. And then... Do we want a champion and take... I really don't want to waste a champion on one of these, if I'm to be honest. I wonder. Well, teacher... Bam. Got 
seems really creature heavy, not so much removal heavy, but I don't know. We haven't seen any removal from him yet. Water Elemental comes out. Would have been nice to actually have the equality for that. He'll play a secret. I'm curious what the secret is. <laughs> this won't pop mirror entity is the problem. Let's see about giving... If we're gonna bait out the mirror entity, I guess we could... Hmm. Let's bait it out with a worgen, I guess? Alright, we know it's not mirror entity. We could... Noble Sacrifice. Which will get us a recruit. Or Violet person. We could Peacekeeper and make that a 1 damage. Or we could Cobra. Equal Cobra. Is it a Vaporize? No, it's not a... Can you remember if Vaporize triggers on just an attack? Or if it triggers on... See, so the thing you can trade that out for that, though, which sucks. Yeah. Nope! Get down! Lizard, ow. That blows. For justice. Fuck you. The light protects me. Jobs reporting for duty. He'll trade that out for the war again if he's smart, and then he'll fireball something. Nor he'll cone a coal. Oh, dem plays, man. Ugh. That's some really nice follow ups. And now we can actually swing that in and get a free card. Oh, we. Nasty. Now I'll trade that out there, maybe, or. Alright. This crock list. For justice. Bam. It sucks because he's got really great value out of that Acolyte of Pain now. He got two cards out of it. That being said, having that Blizzard with a follow up COC, there's probably more effect back there. Which means he's gonna get even more value out of that Acolyte. Ugh. And he'll poke that with a fireball, maybe. Oh, he'll wait to snap to all. Mm -hmm. We could Blessing of Wisdom that just to get a free card draw out of it, which wouldn't be terrible, especially at our current position. From where I'm standing, it's not a bad play because we need cards, but the problem is it's going to die. I'm saying let's go for it, actually. If you're sure. Crucible Champion, kind of what we needed, actually. Now you know what's gonna happen, he's gonna drop something big next turn, just cause we played that, Peacekeeper. Lord Drake. I wouldn't say big, but it's mediocre. Buff it up, alright. I'll swing in for the Peacekeeper. Mana Worm comes out. Noble Sacrifice, not really what we want. Reporting for duty. 
for justice. Erg, major card advantage on us, which sucks. Bring me steel. Erg, and getting the weapon smith isn't helping. That is probably GG, because I don't, I cannot think of a way I can really get back, um, get, down. get back card advantage. And I'll swing that there. And poke that with fireball. Lay on hands is what we need. We're not going to get it. Actually, all we're going to get is Blessing of Kings. For duty. For duty. I'm thinking we actually take out the Swordsmith. <sighs> yeah, depending on what the next couple turns are, depend on if we can see. Depending on... I'm basically going to base it on what I draw. Like, unless I draw Lay on Hands, I don't think I'm going to be able to come back from this. Fireball. Uh, fireball. Yeah, even with Lay on Hands, I'm not coming back from this. Yeah. That is GG. Let me see he was sitting on a lot of removal that he could have just literally removed stuff with. Ugh. I was just, I think, really bad draws on our part, because we didn't, we weren't really able to keep up. Him having the Blizzard and COC follow-up, though, was just ridiculous. Alright, 6-1. Actually, that's probably a good place to call it. Um, I will see you all next time. See ya.